incredible performance, um, incredible weekend uh, by our guys. Just uh, from a coach's standpoint, you know, when they when they put it all together uh, at both ends, defensively and and offensively, uh, uh, you know, it's a it's a great great feeling and a, and a beautiful sight to to see. And they did that, you know, this weekend. So I, I couldn't be more proud of the group. And uh, uh, you know, very very uh, happy for them. Questions for student athletes Matt Bolton, tournament MVP Micah Downs, and Josh Heitveld. Questions for the student athletes? Go ahead. Josh, in your senior year, the team goes undefeated, you win the conference tournament. What needs to happen now for your senior year to feel complete? We need to play 110% um, for the rest of the season and uh, go as hard as we can to get W's and see how far we can get. But. Uh, we, I think we've just stepped it up a level um, on both sides of the floor. Uh, I think everybody on the floor is doing a great job playing defense and rebounding, and uh, I think that's what's gotten us to the level where we're at right now. For all you guys, I mean, you guys have been here before, but how special is it for these conference championships? They're really special. You know, it's an automatic chance to go into the NCAA tournament, and also, you know, uh, like we did this year, 16-0, and 0, um, conference play, uh, coming out beat by a rival school. Uh, it feels really good you know, to, uh, to come out and prove to people that we are the best team in our conference when, uh, you know, when people were doubting us tonight. Steve? Matt, the way this team played over the weekend, did you see this thing building from the last couple of weeks? That you were coming to Vegas ready to really play your best basketball both that's the court? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, um, I think we're peaking at the right time. Uh, I, I mean, we've been working a lot on things, areas we think we need to improve, and we're just making strong steps to getting better. But I definitely think we're peaking at the right time. I thought the momentum was great coming into this weekend. Uh, as long as we keep up the defense, keep up executing, I think we'll be fine. I mean, to have such offensive balance mm -hmm. and have everybody contribute defensively, did you just seem like you guys were He's getting something positive out of that person for however well that person's in there, and he's also not negatively impacting the other four guys. Can you just talk a little bit about this chemistry that kind of has uh, evolved into? Yeah, I think, I mean, we have eight or nine guys who could score 20 any night, uh, and I think that's our greatest strength by far. And the fact that we have so many different weapons, and it's not just uh, offensively. I mean, everybody can is D'ing up really well right now. Uh, we're working on our rebounding. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the fact that we have so many different weapons has really you know, opened up a lot of things for us offensively. It's kind of felt like a uh, home game. Yeah. I would think just talk a little bit about uh, those fans out there and how close did it feel like a, you know, like a home game? It was great. You know, uh, we have a good fan base across the entire country. Um, people, our fans love us. and. and uh, we love them. I think it's awesome that they all traveled down here to support us, and uh, there, was a, there was a big factor in our games. Anything further for the student athletes? St student athletes are excused. Thank you. Question for Coach Field. Yeah, that's not bad. How did you like the venue here? How did you It was terrific. Terrific. You know, as I said yesterday, uh, you know, it's, it's great for our league. It's probably the best thing the league's done in the 20 plus years I've been in the league. I mean, that's big time. Gives out that aura of being big time. It presents the league well. Uh, and then also, uh, obviously, fans are going to come. And uh, But beyond all that, it's fair. That's the greatest thing that it can be is it's fair, finally. Yep. Mark, I don't know if it's only used to mean. You talked about Josh's. Post defense yesterday, 300%, 400% improved over the first four years. How close is he to being the complete post player you envision in the game of the year? Yeah, well, it's tough. I mean, the, the, Josh's true position is the four, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, so with the loss of Robert Sackery, you know, I mean, he's really had to kind of buckle down and play uh, a lot 
inside. So he's been battling some guys, you know, some big physical guys. And, and I, like I said yesterday, I mean, he's, he's done a phenomenal job. That was an area of weakness in the past with him. And now, I, I dare I say, it's a, it might even be a strength of his game. And uh, so he deserves a lot, of, a lot of credit for it because it's not glitzy, it's not fun, it's not easy. And uh, uh, he's really made himself into a, a nice interior defender. Steve? Mark, I know you've got more control over this, but is this a top three CT work or even a top three CT? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I would think so. I mean, I am, uh, again, I'm not into politicking for things and the, all that, but I mean, it was a, just a great performance, and I can't see that many teams playing that much better uh, down the stretch and in big games. And, and uh, the way we did it, I mean, uh, we held them to 28 percent that's our lowest defensive field goal uh, percentage of the year and as I said yesterday I think we led the country in defensive field goal percentage we shot 69 percent in the uh, uh, second half I mean you talk about one thing that we do is we grade our guys hard on our offensive efficiency and our defensive efficiency and I think you can really tell a lot about teams and uh, I mean, that's as about as perfect as you can get in both ends between this conference tournament and the start of the NCAA. So uh, how do you keep your kids fresh, especially when Matt said you're picking up the right time? How do you keep that momentum? I should, should schedule a game like St. Mary's. I mean, I think we got one to give. If you guys know anybody, uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just, you know what, we, we had a good week last week. We, we, uh, we worked pretty hard. We, we didn't let up off the pedal, and I think... Uh, I think I learned from that, maybe with this group, that's when we're at our best. And so we're going to stay after it, stay after it, and kind of keep the physical edge. And, you know, it, it, it's different than what other people uh, go through. But, uh, you know, we've got to use it to our strength this year. So, uh, you know, we won't run them into the ground, but we'll, uh, we'll keep, as Matt said, we've been really trying to work on some things. It, it showed our offense was better this year, or better this weekend with the spacing and the way we move the ball. And, and then our... Uh, our, our uh, on ball defense, guarding on ball screens was much better. Coach Matt mentioned being at the right time, like you just mentioned too, but do you, can you assess your play right now? And are, are you, is that a fair statement? Well, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. I mean, don't you think you just put together those two teams? I mean, it seems kind of obvious to me that we played great, but does that mean we're going to come out and play great in the NCAA tournament? I mean, I, it just doesn't work that way in, in any athletics, professional or college. So we played great this weekend. Like if we play like that in the NCAA tournament, we're going to go a really, really long, long ways. Uh, I don't know if we will. I hope we do. I hope we keep playing like that. But any coach will tell you that you, you don't know. But right now we're playing as good as we've played all year. So we just got to keep eating Cheerios for breakfast or whatever the heck we're doing and keep it rolling. Mark, can you talk about the defense and the, the padding coming back? Did it require any changes or did you just go with what you've been doing? No, we just went with what we've been doing. You know, I think so much has been said about it and talked about it. And, uh, uh, you know, as I said, we were fine in Spokane. We felt really good at halftime about how the game was going, even though we were down. So, uh, uh, we, we've played against them before. We kind of know what to expect. I think our guards do a good job. Most importantly, our guards do a good job of going uh, of going at him. And uh, uh, he's a heck of a player. And uh, he certainly, you know, he, he makes the whole group play with so much more confidence. But uh, tonight we did a great job at, at both ends. We attacked him at the one end, and then we, uh, you know, uh, did a nice job of keeping him off the free throw line at the other end. Steve. Mark, is this group mature enough that you won't have to break out the Nevada tape from the Seattle uh, sub-regional from a few years to remind them that this is a, uh, a one-and-done situation? Yeah. And if they don't bring it, this is what happens? Yeah, again, I know that group was special. That wasn't a fact. I don't think they didn't bring it that night. That was just a perfect storm and just three quick fouls on Roni in the first half that I still haven't seen as I went back and watched that tape. <laughs> and uh, and just a great Nevada team. That Nevada played great that night. So you just never know in the tournament. That's why, you know, I, I feel good how we're playing right now. Uh, this group doesn't need any reminders of that or especially the negative ones. We, we you know, we uh, got beat in the first round last year in a heck of a game at, basically at Davidson. Uh, so, uh, uh, they're fine. They know.
they know, and they, they, they like each other. This group really likes each other, so they don't want it to end. You know, none of us want it to end, so. Anything further for Mark? <laughs>